all know there are several main categories of things that people explore and need to research and find out before making a move from one neighborhood to the next, from a city to another city, or state to state across America. And one of those main things that most people want to research is what are the schools like in that area? It's very important. Now, obviously, if you don't have kids, it may not be as important. But for some people without kids, it's still important. Why? Because they're thinking resale value and having good schools helps tremendously with the resale value of residential real estate. So we're going to break down the best public and private schools in the state of Arizona, as well as the best school districts as well. So this will be a great video to break down everything about schools when it comes to the state of Arizona. But speaking of Arizona, if you have any questions about Arizona real estate in general, this is a great resource to be at our YouTube channel, but feel free to give me a call directly at 480-660-5974 or with the contact information on the screen. And again, we work really hard to not get just good contact on our YouTube page, but also to get great reviews because we offer great service to our clients when looking to buy or sell real estate. So if you could check out our Google page right here, we have over 450 five-star reviews. So check it out and see what they're saying there. And then of course, if you don't mind just liking the video and tapping that subscribe button, we'd be really appreciative of that as well. So first let's address the big gorilla in the room. You know, the 64,000 pound gorilla that's sitting there that you have to address, but everyone's trying to ignore. And that gorilla would be the national state rankings for the state of Arizona and where it lies. Now, according to the most recent US News and World Report, they do rank a lot of things. And one of those things they rank are the national state rankings for public education. Arizona currently comes in at number 44, sandwiched right after Maine, but right before the state of Alabama. And more specifically, what helps Arizona's rankings is the higher education ranking, which comes in at 28 of the 50 states. And when it comes to pre-K through 12th grade, Arizona comes in at 47. So when you take those rankings, you go, ooh, 47 or even 44, that's not the best. It's not that good. And you know what? That would be correct according to this ranking, which is one of the most prestigious rankings that you can have for those state educational rankings on a national basis. However, there are a lot of aspects and criteria that go into effect to actually come to a conclusion on these rankings. And one of those things is the obviously scope of the entire state. And so maybe if a state is smaller, more compressed, although it may have more population to even some of these larger states out in the western part of the United States that could work for or maybe against the ranking. And things like the local economics of the state in general play a huge role in this as well. As we know, poverty does not usually equal good education. One of the reasons most people live in poverty across America is because of their lack of education and knowledge. So when it comes to Arizona, did you know that only 19% of the entire state, the land that makes up the entire state of Arizona, is private? held. That's right. The remaining 81% of land that makes up the state of Arizona is publicly held land by the government in some form or fashion. And the big part of that 81% are the Native American reservations and land throughout there. And guys, there's no question about it that when it comes to the education of the Native Americans on their reservations and their land, the education publicly is just not the best. And so that is going to obviously bring down some of the rankings when it comes to the good school districts that maybe are producing the high school diplomas and producing the college degrees and the certain grade levels and standardized test scores. So I say all that to not just shine a light on certain aspects of the state of Arizona, to make sure people understand that throughout the entire state of Arizona, which is a large state, there are some places that have better education than others. So maybe Arizona is not a place to avoid because the national ranking is not the best, but rather Arizona might be a great place for your kids education if you're in a certain area of the state within a certain city, within a certain neighborhood or district. And so similar to real estate, schools have to be niched down as well because you can't just give a blanket stereotype of a certain educational system when it encompasses a vast diversity of different aspects making up that one ranking or grade. So from the national rankings, let's go to the school district rankings in the state of Arizona. And let's start with the top five. So you can go to sites on Google and you'll find all kinds of different rankings for different things when it comes to public education or private education. But we're going to stick to the top five because this list could go on forever. And the number one school district ranked for the entire state of Arizona is the Chandler Unified 
school district. This currently has a teacher ratio of 18 to one. It has an A plus ranking according to niche.com and has over 43,000 students within its district. So it's a great district and a great place to call home if you're looking for a place to move within the greater Phoenix area. Chandler, Arizona is a booming, one of the highly ranked newer suburbs that has burst onto the scene here recently in all of America. So a great place on real estate and a great place to raise a family and attend great schools. Number two is the Vail School District. So where is Vail? I'm glad you asked. It's right outside of Tucson, Arizona. This is a big district with over 14,000 students and it comes currently in ranked at an A plus ranking. And that's one of the main reasons it makes number two, but a great place if you want to be in the Tucson greater area to possibly call home and take your kids to a great school. Coming in at number three is the Heritage Academy School District. Now this is located in Mesa, Arizona. This is a smaller district with about 1,600 students, that's it. And the fun fact about Heritage is that it is ranked in A grade in terms of the ranking of the school district, but it also is ranked number one when it comes to the best teachers in the state of Arizona. Coming in at number four is the Catalina Foothills School District. This is a district located in the Tucson area again. So shout out to Tucson for having two in the top five. And this is located on the northern part of the Tucson area. Now this has a current teacher to student ratio of 16 to one and currently comes in with an A grade according to niche.com. And rounding out our top five of the top five school districts in the entire state of Arizona is the Scottsdale Unified School District. Now Scottsdale is a popular suburb. Everyone kind of knows about that nationally as the golf mecca of the world. And it is a more affluent suburb. And it's currently coming at number five with over 22,000 students and over 30 public schools. So this is a big district and it is a highly ranked district with an A grade according to niche.com and a great place to call home. Scottsdale has been around for a while. It has a lot of different real estate types and areas and communities and sections within the entire suburb. And so there's a lot to choose from when it comes to the Scottsdale area. But rest assured, if you're in that Scottsdale Unified School District, you're going to be in one of the top five school districts in the entire state. Now let's jump into the best schools, the top schools for public schools in the entire state of Arizona. And guys, at the top is a plethora of the basis schools located in different parts of the valley that pretty much make up the top 10 for the most part. You have Basis Peoria as the number one school in the country, not just the state of Arizona. So number one and number two comes in at Basis Scottsdale, which is the 12th ranked school for public schools in the entire country. Then you have Basis Chandler, Phoenix, and Alatuki, also separate schools as well, but under that same Basis umbrella that make up the top 10 as well. So you have some really good schools there with the Basis schooling system. But a lot of you are probably thinking, well, isn't that like kind of private type of school? Well, it has a private feel to it, no question about it, but it is a public school. That's a lot of people don't understand. It is not a private school, but it has super high access academic standards and it produces a lot of very smart uh, students that go on to some prestigious universities across America. But when you start getting out of the basis schooling system and the Gilbert Classical Arts Academy and these type of schools, and you start going to what we all kind of affectionately known as the, the public schools, you start getting a couple of these schools that are noteworthy to talk about as they make the top 15 lists for the US News and World Report. And number six, you have University High School, which is located in the Tolleson School Unified District. And that is on the West Valley, the west side of the Phoenix area and it is a phenomenal high school. Now, Tolson is unique because it has high academic standards and it has high rankings when it comes to college curriculum and college readiness of these students, but also is very high in diversity as well. So if you're looking for something with high academic standards and a lot of diversity in terms of the enrollment of these students, this might be a good option for you. Next on the list would be Desert Mountain High School located in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is ranked number 12 in the entire state. And it is one of the few schools in the state that is an IB program, an international baccalaureate program that offers a more challenging, rigorous academic plan for the students who take it. Now, Desert Mountain is one of six high schools in the Scottsdale Unified District, but it's the only one that has this program. So it is sought after because of that. So parents who want to have their kids 
kids experience a, a traditional public school education and experience, but yet have a more rigorous standpoint of a plan and a curriculum, this is a great option for you. And of course, it's located in East Scottsdale, which is very affluent, and it is a phenomenal school to go to and attend. And rounding out the top 15, the 15th ranked school, which is another traditional public school, is Chaparral High School. It comes in at number 15, and it's also located in the Scottsdale Unified School District. Again, one of six high schools in this district. Chaparral is a very affluent area with an affluent school student base. They have plenty of AP coursework and exams, and they actually have over 2,000 students enrolled in this high school. It's one of the larger high schools in the state with a graduation rate of over 96%. So again, a very good school, good athletic programs as well, traditionally in most sports, and especially golf and baseball, where they put a lot of professional athletes into the professional ranks over time. Now let's pivot to the private schools in Arizona, guys, because a lot of parents, a lot of people watching this channel right now will choose to send their child to a private school. And so there are a lot of great options. In fact, there are over 400 private schools in the state of Arizona. But the number one ranked private school that stays there pretty much every single year, it seems, is Phoenix Country Day Private School located in Paradise Valley, Arizona. Now this is located in a phenomenal location, very centralized, with views of Camelback Mountain located right there in the prestigious Paradise Valley area. Now the tuition is nothing to sneeze at. You're talking 34,000 plus dollars a year for one student to attend Phoenix Country Day School. That nearly doubles up the number two ranked private school in all of Arizona, which is Brophy College Prep High School. This is an all boys school. It's located in central Phoenix, north central Phoenix. Great athletics and a very good academic experience as well. Number three is the Arizona Culture Academy and College Prep located in Phoenix, Arizona. And number four is the Rancho Solano Preparatory School located in Scottsdale, Arizona. And we'll round out the top five with the Gary Herberger Youth Scholars Academy located in Phoenix with only about 100 students, but an incredible seven to one student to teacher ratio. Now, when it comes to private education, there are actually tax credits in the state of Arizona that can be used to actually offset tuition. So in a nutshell, how it works is that you can have somebody you know who is paying state taxes, which is everybody in Arizona that receives income because we have a 2.5 state tax, flat tax at 2.5%. And if they choose, they can actually redirect up to roughly for a married couple filing jointly up to roughly three thousand dollars or just under to offset your child's student tuition so for example if your tuition was fifteen thousand dollars for one of your kids to go to private school but you knew several people who could all chip in somewhere around three thousand dollars that would go to the state of arizona for taxes anyway that money can be used to offset your tuition so if you do the math all you need is about five to maybe six people or so that had a tax bill of north of that amount they could actually use that it's a dollar for dollar credit to offset tuition. So it's a really cool program to help people who want to send their kids to private education in the state of Arizona actually achieve that financially. And again, I'm not a CPA or a tax advice professional, so please consult your tax professional when it comes to those things. I'm just giving you general blanket information when it comes to research you can find online or talking to a tax professional. But if you have any more questions about that, I'd be happy to put you in touch with maybe my tax professional if you're looking for somebody who's well-versed on that in in the state of Arizona. I hope you enjoyed our video today regarding all the public and private schools and districts and national rankings for the state of Arizona. I hope you got value out of it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to give me a call. A good realtor knows all the pros and cons and intricacies of different schools located in different neighborhoods because real estate is localized at the end of the day. If you could give me a call, love to chat with you, 480-660-5974. Contact us on the screen here. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, maybe just tap on that button and get us out to more and more people who can benefit from this information. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, don't forget, call me.